Google is a search engine that became a monopoly and a monopoly that's now becoming a tyranny. For those of you who keep saying, David, why are you talking about this? Why aren't you exposing Muhammad and the Quran? Stop acting like clueless morons. If the people who've been taking over the internet get their way, there won't be any more exposing Muhammad and the Quran on the internet. Exposing Muhammad and the Quran will be hate speech that gets you canceled. So take a step back and recognize the times that you're living in and understand that when someone starts threatening your ability to speak, you might want to do your part in making sure they don't succeed. Now, the tech tyrants aren't going to face much of a challenge from Congress or the Senate or the President for the next few years, at least not here in the U.S., in other countries. These companies will face resistance from elected officials. In the U.S., the most significant challenge will come in the courts. So it's a good idea to pay attention to the lawsuits that are mounting. As an interesting example, one that involves our YouTube overlords, Rumble apparently didn't like the ever-growing threat from Google, so Rumble launched a preemptive strike. The Wall Street Journal reports. Video sharing site Rumble Inc. accused Google in a lawsuit of abusing the power of its search engine and mobile operating system to boost its YouTube video service over rivals, the latest allegation of anti-competitive conduct against the Alphabet Inc. unit. Toronto-based Rumble, which has become popular among conservative pundits, on Monday filed an antitrust suit in federal court in California arguing that Google is unfairly rigging its search algorithms to place YouTube above Rumble in its search results. Rumble said Google's behavior cost it significant numbers of viewers and advertising dollars. If you don't understand why that's a problem, Google is basically a monopoly when it comes to search engines. But Google is using this monopoly to drive traffic to businesses owned by Google, making it impossible for other platforms to compete. That's illegal, so Google is going to have to claim that they're not favoring YouTube. The lawsuit also argues that Google's deals to pre-install a YouTube app on mobile devices running Google's Android operating system have unfairly deprived Rumble of viewers. Google, through its search engine, was able to wrongfully divert massive traffic to YouTube, depriving Rumble of the additional traffic, users, uploads, brand awareness, and revenue it would have otherwise received, the lawsuit states. In other words, when people do a search on Google, they're looking for certain kinds of content. A video on Rumble might be exactly the content they're looking for, but Google, which has a monopoly, sends them to YouTube instead. This destroys competition, and again, it's illegal. We will defend ourselves against these baseless claims, a Google spokeswoman said. Rumble's lawsuit cites the findings of a Wall Street Journal investigation from July that found Google's search results gave a preference to YouTube links over those from video rivals. In a series of tests, the journal found that search results in a large majority of cases featured YouTube videos ahead of the same or very similar versions of the videos available on competitor sites. Rumble wasn't featured in the journal testing, but the video sharing company says in its lawsuit that it conducted its own similar tests using its videos. One exhibit in the lawsuit includes screenshots of a Google search for Funny Dogs on Rumble, which returns a list of videos that are entirely from YouTube. In recent months, conservatives have been flocking to Rumble, but that's new. Rumble used to be known for cute dog videos or videos of someone's kid doing something adorable. And yet, when people search Google specifically for dog videos on Rumble, Google sends them to YouTube. Pretty slimy. In response to the journal report, 
A Google spokeswoman said in July that no preference is given to YouTube or any other video provider in Google search, but declined to comment on the specific examples. Our systems use a number of signals from the web to understand what results people find most relevant and helpful for a given query, the spokeswoman said at the time. We believe you, Google. We believe everything you say, just like you programmed us to. The Rumble lawsuit comes as Google is facing several other antitrust lawsuits in the U.S., Two sets of U.S. states have alleged the company has abused the dominance of its search engine and its advertising business. That came after the Justice Department sued Google in October for allegedly using anti-competitive tactics to preserve its search monopoly. Google has said the suits lack merit. While elements of the U.S. cases, as well as antitrust decisions in the European Union, have previously alleged that Google has used its heft to help its smaller businesses, Monday's case is rare for its focus on its promotion of YouTube, which Google purchased in 2006. I wonder if Google knew, back when it bought YouTube, that it would eventually be striving for totalitarian control over what we're allowed to say. Or did they decide that later? While Rumble has recently become popular with a conservative-leaning audience, videos from outlets like One America News Network are among its most popular, the company's lawsuit focuses on Google's treatment of Rumble's core of home-based viral content, such as cute cat and dog videos. Rumble says one of its main business models is allowing content creators to license their videos exclusively to Rumble which then syndicates them to other video services, including YouTube and Microsoft Corp's MSN. Rumble then pays the posters a share of the advertising revenue those videos garner. Rumble says it must syndicate its videos to YouTube in order to survive because of the monopoly Google has obtained for its YouTube platform through its unlawful anti-competitive conduct. How much does that suck? Rumble has to put its videos on YouTube to get views because it's the only way Google will send people to the videos. Since 2014, Rumble says, its videos syndicated on YouTube have generated 9.3 billion views and $4.3 million in revenue. Rumble contends that most, if not all, of those 9.3 billion views would have occurred on the Rumble website had Google not boosted YouTube in search results. Those viewers would have watched and uploaded other videos too, all of which would have earned better ad rates than on YouTube, Rumble contends. Cumulatively, Rumble calculates that advertising on the allegedly missing views over that period would have generated well in excess of $2 billion. Two billion dollars? What is two billion dollars to Google? They can probably find that under a mattress at one of their re-education centers. But it is a lot of money to rumble. I'm glad to see the smaller platforms fighting back. And you can support the smaller platforms by picking one and watching some videos there. Speaking of rumble, I have a rumble channel. The link is in the description box. And don't forget, YouTube made a platform, but YouTube didn't make the platform popular. Creators and users made the platform popular. And if creators and users made the platform popular, we can make another platform popular.